You have to vision everything in your head before you even start. You gotta look at the blank and determine how we're gonna do this, how it's gonna sit in the machine, what tools are gonna go in what order. It's, everything is a step in a process, you know. It's, it's not just load something in and hit the button and walk away. My name's Tom Nelson. I do custom machining at Harkin. I've been doing it for a little over 30 years now. We do all one-of-a-kind work. It's a blast. Every day is a new job. It's always different, changes every day. Throughout Harkin, we have about 50 CNC machines. A uh, CNC mill is a computer machine. Some are turning centers, some are milling centers. In the custom department, I believe we have approximately 10 machines, CNC machines. This part was made on a Makino CNC machine. I love the machine. It's probably my favorite machine in the shop. The strength of the machine comes from the durability of it. You know, some are very strong. Mine's a very sturdy machine, so it can take heavy cuts. I start out with a solid work drawing and a blueprint, and we'll look at it and picture how we're going to machine the part from start to finish. And uh, it's basically up to you to program your machine and come out with the finished product. This actually had like 30 different tools in it to machine this part. On this part, we actually started on the bottom. It was upside down. We squared around the part, put the T-slot in to work on the bottom. And we did everything on the top. We had print on both sides to do the side features. And then up on the end to put the hole and counter bore in it. You gotta think about what you're doing the whole time. So at the end, you can finish your product. You're not st stuck with no way to hold the part or no way to finish it. So you have to do everything in sequence so it comes out perfect all the way through. Everything you do when you see it finished, it, it brings a sense of pride to what you do. It's, uh, you know, you look back 30 years ago and I said, I could never make something like that. And you, you, you see where you, the, how the parts evolved and you evolved around them. And to machining where, where you got today, it's remarkable.